Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial guys and I'm going to show you on how to resolve the Windows update with the error code 0x8024500C on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads there were some problems installing updates but we'll try again later if you keep saying this and want to search the web or contact support for information this may help with the error code 0x8024500c so this error usually occurs when the windows is unable to download updates from microsoft this error usually occurs when the windows is unable to download updates from microsoft update servers and can be caused by various factors such as network connectivity issues incorrect system settings and corrupted system files kung paano ba natin ito i-fix and without further ado and let's go ahead so the first solutions we will do is to perform the ws reset kung paano ba yan natin gawin so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and dito sa search for app so kailangan mo nang i-type yung command keyword na ws reset and then kailangan mo nang i-click dito yung open so this a uh, procedure is a troubleshooting tool which is used to reset or clear the windows store without changing the account settings or deleting installed apps so makikita mo na dito na nag back to default na po siya kaya ginagawa natin yung command keyword na ws reset alright so after dito and then other solution na pwede natin gawin is to perform the troubleshoot settings kung paano ba yan natin ulit gawin so all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu and dito sa search for app so type mo lang dito yung troubleshoot settings and then kailangan mo lang i-click dito yung open and next step so dito lang sa troubleshoot under dito sa option ay kailangan mo lang i-select dito yung other troubleshooters so click mo lang yan dito lang sa other troubleshooters under dito sa most frequent kailangan mo lang i-select dito yung windows update and dito lang sa right side, kailangan mo lang i-click dito yung run. So, click mo lang yan. And wait natin na ma-complete ang detecting problems, initializing, and diagnostic process. Okay, so troubleshooting has completed. And the next solution, if the error is still persists, and ang next na gagawin natin, so all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu. And dito sa search for apps, so type mo lang dito yung services. And then, i-click mo lang dito yung open. So, dito sa services and services local. And then, next step dito lang sa right side, ay kailangan mo lang i-locate dito yung background intelligent transfer service. Okay, ito siya. So, ang gagawin mo lang is select and kailangan mo lang mag-double click. And pop-up itong kanyang properties. So, dito lang sa general and dito sa startup type. So, isilik mo lang dito yung automatic. And then, dito pa sa kanyang running, click mo lang dito yung stop and then wait natin. And then, dito sa kanyang service status, click mo lang dito yung start and then wait natin ulit. right So, after and then click mo lang dito yung apply and then click mo lang dito yung OK. So, after dito sa services and, and the next solution or last solution na pwede natin gawin is to perform the sfc run all right so all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu and dito sa search for app so type mo lang dito yung cmd or ito yung tinatawag na command prompt and then kailangan mo lang mag right click and select mo lang dito yung run as administrator if you receive user account control and i-click mo lang dito yung yes and then dito sa administrator command prompt ay kailangan lang natin enter yung command keyword na sfc space slash scan now so in all is small later lahat and then yung slash scan now ay one word yan and press mo lang yung enter and beginning system scan this process will take some time beginning verifications piece of system scan 
So dito ay kailangan lang natin intay na makomplete ang verifications into 100%. And finally, verifications 100% complete and then after dito sa CMD at dito lang si start menu at kailangan mo lang mag-restart. Okay? So, i-click mo lang tong restart. Alright, so ganun lang po kasimple on how to fix Windows update with the error code 0x802-4500C in Windows 10 or Windows 11. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.